Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Designs by Akshu and in today's video we are going to see how to make a model of kitchen platform in SketchUp with proper details. So basically this is our interface of Google SketchUp and we are going to create a platform wherein we are going to add its main details like for a kitchen platform it is important to show the grooves of the cabinets like the shutters the two shutter doors so us make grooves hote hai, so it is really very important to show the grooves because that adds a little bit detail to your kitchen platform so first basically we'll create it then i'll show you i'll create a cabinet a small cabinet of Two feet by two feet. We'll make it a group. After that, enter the group by double clicking the surface. Press P for press pull. Press pull it for three feet height. Give it, give the height of three feet. Now, let's add its ply thickness. Press F for offset and give the offset of 18 mm. This is going to be your ply thickness, this surface, and we'll press pull this back. Now, this is going to be your joints of the ply. Okay, if you look carefully, how a carpenter makes a box of your cabinet. So, this is the way first he is going to join this four ply. And then the ba back ply over here, right? So we'll enter this group again. We'll create a rectangle. We'll make it a group. We'll give it a thickness by press pull of 18 mm. Okay. In the same way, copy it in the front, keep it aside for a while. Now, as it's our shutters, right? Shutters cabinet. So, now what we are going to do is we are going to add shelves inside this cabinet. So, what the very first thing you have to do is select this surface, make it a group. Now, copy this surface snap the midpoint and place it now give the thickness of 18 mm again which is our ply thickness so this are two compartments we have created by adding a single shelf and this is of one fit five six inches we could consider now now what we are going to do is as we are going to create two shutters it means two doors different doors so now we are going to create a barrier in this between for that click on the surface draw a midline then give the half distance of 18 mm of 9 mm just a second 9 mm over here and 9 mm on this side then take the command of rectangle and draw that surface and then press pull it but before press pulling it make sure you're making it it as group and then press pull okay now we have created four compartments 
now even you can add this shelf as your and your but I'll prefer this will be simple for you now take this door snap its corner point place it in the corner then press S to adjust it in the center to make its half then again copy this door and place it over here now you have got two doors right but basically is mid distance nahi hai. now they are joined to each other as you can see so now what you have to do is press T for measurement tape and give 0 0.05 inches distance on this side and again 0 0.05 inches distance on the other side and then click on your first door and adjust it on that distance so it will be 0 0.10 inches distance in both the shutters so now you can clearly see that there's a groove which has been created right so this is going to be your cabinet but now how to create the stone platform which is your kitchen platform like for example if my kitchen is in L shape let's give it two foot three inches okay two foot three inches so this is my l shaped kitchen platform i have made it as group now i'm going to give its height of three foot then in the group itself select this surface with its age lines and then make a group of it then again go inside its group and press P to give its thickness of 1 inch press F to give offset of 1 inch then again click on P that is press pull give a height to this offset part of 1 inch now we don't need this part so we'll add the ending lines to this So we'll keep till here and erase this part so if you observe very carefully that how your kitchen uta your kitchen platform look alike so this is the structure where you give this one inch thickness which is called pani patti in marathi or hindi you could say which uh, does not allow water to flow on these cabinets so this is that offset or you can say a skirting given to your kitchen platform the kitchen top and now if you want to apply a material you can apply it so basically i'll prefer applying uh, endscape material so so this is the material which i've given to it as you can see this is my kitchen top now you can create cabinets over here but remember the first very thing is you have to give an offset of 18 mm then start creating the cabinets as I have shown one over here okay so basically 
there is no difference about creating a kitchen platform and about creating small grooves to show a proper detail of shutters okay in the same way if you want to create trolley you have to give channels to it so for that you have to add its proper detail for that you have to again give the offset of 18 mm of ply thickness then create its outside surface of again 18 mm okay now if you want to add channels to it give a thickness of 1.5 inch then create a line then make such parts as i'm creating right now Pull this part back at 0. Point, uh, not 0. Point. We'll give it as 0. 0.3 inches. Okay. So you can see a channel has been created inside this group itself. So you can see this door has been created. Now to give it as a trolley, you can add a box inside from the midpoint I'll give it an offset of 18 mm again. It's ply thickness. Give it thickness. And your trolley is done. So this is the internal part which is the detail one and mostly no one asked the inside trolley details but if the rec clients were, were asking that I want to see what are the kind of details you have given inside the trolley so you can see you can show them that this is the detail which we have given so this is going to be a trolley actually this is not the detailed one but i have shown this channel detail which we use to open the trolley and so we have covered up three that is a shutter how to show a groove between it then we have seen a kitchen platform and then the channel opening channel for trolley 
so basically this these are the details and if you work on it i'll show an example how i have used all these things to make a beautiful kitchen so this is the kitchen which i have created and now you can see that i have added grooves into it so that it will give me a proper detail in enscape because just giving a straight line like this won't show the depth in enscape so the method which i have told you to give the grooves in two shutters this is the best way to show that there's a depth between these two doors in Enscape if you are rendering in Enscape then as you can see these are my trolleys so I have added channels to it so that you could see the detail then this is the kitchen which I had created for one of my client and the output is really very good so I'll show it to you so I'm rendering it in Enscape. So this is the output which I have created. So now you can see the method which I have told you that you have to keep a distance and that two equal distance like I have told 0 0.05 inches on this side and 0 0.05 inches on this side so you have to apply the same distance on all these cabinets so that there will be an evenness everywhere and you can see a beautiful combination of uh, light pink and black color i have used over here and even i have adjusted its materials like its glossiness or its uh, matte finish even you can see the tiles tiles are not too glossy as the usual tiles look i have kept it the same and even the the finish which i have used on my trolleys is also different it's not too glossy you can see if it was glossy the light wouldn't be blur over here it would be so shiny like the fridge okay so you can see a very reflective surface of fridge i have given over here which is looking very classy and elegant as per the design and this is about the overhead loft storage this is overhead storage this is our backsplash tiles which are black in color again we have the granite stone and even I have a proper texture. You can see a very proper texture of granite is being seen. And even the lights, you can see if lights are also given in a proper way. So if you want to learn how to uh, edit materials, lights in Enscape, then please do comment me in the comment section. So I would really like to put up a video of editing your textures and materials so that it would look really real for showing your clients so please comment me in the comment section if you want the video of textures and materials in Enscape so thanks for watching this was all about modular kitchen and it's very easy it's not hard you just have to keep on creating it all the time so that it would be a practice and make sure you're working in groups and in components so that these cabinets if you want to work on a specific door it would be easy for you to work on so thanks for watching make sure you comment for my next video of textures if you comment then only i'll be creating it if you want me to create it i'll surely create it for all thanks for watching Good